I'm Barbara Myers. And I'm Lydia Chris Mays. We're both professors at Georgia State University in Atlanta, Georgia. We're also the authors of a children's book, The Long and the Short of It, a tale about two girls and their hair. One of those girls is Isabel, my granddaughter. She decided to grow out her hair and give it to an organization that makes wigs for cancer patients. Emma is the other girl in the story. Emma was diagnosed with cancer at the age of five, and she tells the story of what it's like to lose her hair during cancer treatment. The doctor told my family I had cancer. To get better, I would have to take a special medicine every day. The medicine made my hair fall out. It got really thin and stringy like dental floss. I loved my hair, and I really didn't want my hair to go away. We wrote this book because we were inspired by Isabel and Emma. Thinking about Emma's story specifically, we wanted to give voice to children who were losing their hair through cancer treatment. Isabel grew out her hair to be just like her older cousins with their long flowing hair, but then she got a better idea. Even though I'd worked so hard to grow my hair long, I got this idea that maybe somebody else needed it more than I did. My hair grew and grew. Sometimes it got so tangled that mom wanted to cut it, but donating it was too important. I had to wait until it was just the right length. In the next part of the story, Emma receives a wig made of real hair from people she doesn't know. At the same time, Isabel's hair is long enough to cut, and it doesn't really matter that she doesn't know who received it. This book is all about the act of giving and receiving. It's for all children, not just for children who are ill and it's to celebrate their generosity. We're thrilled that this book has a happy ending. In Emma's words, my family finally got good news. The doctor said my cancer was gone. I could stop taking the medicine that made my hair fall out. My hair grew back brown and curly. I loved it. I decided to grow my new hair long so that I could donate it to others who had lost their hair just like I did.